What is going on everyone? It's here again and take for you some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 playing some Domination. This time on the map raid using a SWAT 5.56 assault rifle. Very comparable. Very, very comparable to the M16 from previous Call of Duties. But I wanted to make this video talking to you guys about the possibility of a new playlist as well as new game modes coming to Black Ops 2. So what you're seeing on your screen right now is a tweet from David Vonderhaar. David Vonderhaar, if you don't know, a lot of people consider him to be the community manager for Treyarch. He pictured Treyarch, which is the team of people that put together Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You picture them over here, then you picture us over here, and right in between us would probably be Vonderhaar. That's the kind, that's kind of who he is. So he made this tweet talking about a community-inspired playlist coming to Black Ops 2. And what does this mean? Well, when I think of a community-inspired playlist, I picture, actually, you know, what they did in Modern Warfare 3. Right? They brought in Infected, which was a really fun game mode. A lot of people liked it. They brought in Drop Zone, which was a really fun game mode. A lot of people liked it. And they actually kind of took Drop Zone in a way, and I think that's a lot of what inspired Hardpoint. But they brought in these game modes that were really fun to play. Money in the Dank. It was actually made by a YouTuber. It's a game mode made up by a YouTuber that they actually put in this community playlist back in Modern Warfare 3. And it's a really neat thing. What does this mean for Black Ops 2? I really don't know. I, he made this tweet some time ago, and I'm waiting for like more information as to what it means or what the possibility of these game modes or this playlist might be. But he hasn't tweeted anything about it since, neither has Treyarch, and so we were really kind of left in the dark on this one. But I'm hoping, I am pleading, that they bring back war. If you go back to my videos before Black Ops 2 came out, actually my last two videos before Black Ops 2 came out were both on World of War, which was Call of Duty 5, the World War II one, if you don't know what World of War is. And they were all about bring back war. We want war. We have not seen the game mode war since Call of Duty World of War. It was a game mode that was in, I, I know it was in Call of Duty 3. I know it was in World of War. I have a strong suspicion it was, it was in Call of Duty 2, but I'm not positive. I can't be sure. I never really played Call of Duty 2. But it's a really fun game mode. It's a really enjoyable game mode. And I would love for them to bring that back. Like, if they were to bring that into the community playlist, that'd be awesome. Who knows what this community playlist is going to be? I don't know. In terms of game modes, I think it'd be neat to bring in some new game modes. I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of set my ways with my game modes. As you can see from most of my gameplays, it's mostly Domination gameplay. Just because Domination is my favorite game mode. I actually used to really, really, really like Search and Destroy. Search and Destroy was by far my favorite game mode in COD 4 and World of War when I first got into Call of Duty back in 2007 and 2008. But uh, then 2009 came around, and also came the intervention, and also came Slave Hand Pro in Modern Warfare 2, and then came all the trick shotters, and ever since then I stopped playing Search and Destroy, and I became a respawn game mode player just because snipers ruin Search and Destroy. <laughs> they, they, they do. It's so obnoxious. But I would love a new game mode to come in. Maybe a new game mode would win me over. Hell, if they were to bring back War, pardon my French, but if they were to bring back War. That would be my new game mode. If they were to bring back the game mode War, I would literally only play War. I would, like, only post War. That would be, like, what you would see from me. Unless I had, like, Domination gameplays or whatever else kind of gameplays, like, already saved up on my PC, those would be the only other game modes you'll see from me. I'll be, like, an exclusive War player for so long. It's seriously that good of a game mode. I'm going to try and do for A lot of people don't actually know what War is because I guess the game itself was in 2008 and a lot of you probably weren't around you know, maybe that long, maybe as long as someone like me. War? Yeah. Picture the very center of the map. There's a flag. And this flag is very difficult to capture. It's very difficult to capture. It takes a very long time to capture. And each team's fighting for this particular flag in the middle. You can do things to help out your team, be it get a kill streak, get a bunch of kills, do something, and it'll get your team momentum, which will help your team capture that flag twice as fast. Or if you do something incredible, it'll give your team Blitzkrieg, which will help you capture the flag three times as fast. And if you capture that flag, that'll push the enemy team back to their back flag. They'll have another flag just like the one in the middle, but it'll be closer to the enemy spawn, and then everyone's fighting for that flag. And if you take that flag from them, you push it back to their final flag. You take their final flag from them, it's... It's hard to describe. When people ask what war is, you would just have to watch some of my World of War videos. Just, uh, I don't know, or maybe watch other people's World of War videos. I'm not sure exactly how much war gameplay, because I've only posted a handful of World of War videos it's my, it myself. But if you were to go ahead and look that up and just watch someone play the game mode war, you'll understand what the game mode war is about. It is so fast-paced, it is so action-packed, and it's just... 
it's great. Like it, it's very predictable in a way. Like your team's here, the enemy team's here. You always have an idea where the other team's at. It's always just this giant battle, like you would see in the movies at the flags, and it's just a really, really enjoyable game mode. I wish they'd bring that back. What other game modes I'd like them to bring back? I'd like them to bring back Infected as well from Modern Warfare 3. That'd be a really good game mode, I thought. But the problem with Infected is it's almost like boosting your win-loss ratio in a way because it's like almost literally impossible to lose that game mode. Like you can go get a hundred kills or a hundred win streak, I should say, playing Infected in like an hour. Because the only way to lose that game mode is to be one of the infected and have the survivors actually win, which rarely, rarely happens. But I think it's a cool idea. All, I know, all we know so far is they're going to be putting together a community-based playlist. And what kind of game modes would you guys like to see in this community playlist? I, don't, I always thought it'd be neat if somehow Michael Myers, which is like the most popular open lobby game ever, were somehow a game mode. I think that'd be neat, but who knows how they would actually balance that and how it'd work with people ranking up. But I decided to skip most of this gameplay because we're playing some 6v6 domination here. And what always happens when I play subscribers, the other team all quits. Another thing, during this new update, they should put in a penalty for freaking rage quitting. Oh my goodness, how many gameplays of mine have you seen that I just have to cut short because we're facing, because we're doing really good in the first half, then the second half we're facing two or three people. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Please don't leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. Never any kind of rating whatsoever helps the video grow. And we have already broken this month's record. Well, my all-time monthly record, I should say, for likes in a month this month. That's two months in a row we've broken that record. Thank you guys so much for that. So go ahead and continue putting them ratings out. And I'll continue to put the videos out. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.